Hey Capricorn! So today we are going to go ahead and do your love reading. This is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Yeah, the Tower and the King of Pentacles. For somebody here, this could actually be in reference to some sort of position. Um, it may be about your finances, your stability, your security. It could also be about a person, so we'll see how this goes, but it could be someone suddenly enters your life. Um, but with the King of Pentacles and the way this man looks very content here, um, there could be some sudden, almost like explosive... Uh, increase in your life it could be in your finances in a business opportunity and maybe it's like with the tower it represents some you know um, oxygen to a flame and then everything kind of sparks and, and is able to progress and to move forward so there's something about that coming up this just flew out here too the ten of pentacles and we have the sun here okay wow seven of swords beneath this So yeah, there's definitely something, the way these two cards are are uh, kind of popping out at me, the way this woman is looking up to and they're both like happy and smiling, um, it does feel like there is some kind of re like resurgence of something with the with the bright sun here as well, something coming to life or something coming back to life. And I am hearing for a few of you, this actually could be about your spiritual awakening. I'm being shown something about the 12th house in astrology, and they're pointing it to be connected for some of you to maybe some kind of like sudden awakening in some level, or you, you know, are able to activate something that you have not been able to activate, or there's just this surge I keep getting of like energy running through you. Um, that could be for some of you, but it also could be connecting to something that you're finding in terms of like a solution or it bringing about like a spark of something in your life again. Um, like I said, with the Ten of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles, it could be that maybe you find a passion and then it is able to get off the ground and you're able to create some sort of future with this. Um, but it could be in terms of a relationship or something like that as well. So let's get the cards out. Yeah, see, we have fulfillment when I was just shuffling. Yeah, it really feels like that. I don't know why they're showing me rock, paper, scissors. I don't know what that means, if that's like a sign for somebody. But um, yeah, I feel like with this fulfillment here, this seems to be a very strong message, illumination and gateway. Um, I'm hearing that Frank Sinatra song, The Best Is Yet To Come. Yeah, and something about this feels ripe, like with that peach there, like with the King of Pentacles and the way this man is like an older man. I don't know yet what they mean by that. It could either be like with like the Frank Sinatra too. Maybe something is maturing. Something is coming into this maturation or there's a something which is ripe kind of is what I'm getting with this. And yeah, I'm hearing no more playing around. Let's see, let's get the cards out and see what this is and what else can come up here. The Hermit, uh, they're also showing me the, these like murky waters and something with the Hermit that there's like a clearing of the murky waters with the sun. So as I was saying, for some of you, this could be some kind of process of spiritual growth that you've been moving through. And maybe it's like you're finding the route to fulfillment. You're finding the way that you can start to become more fulfilled or get off that on and off journey of your spiritual growth or not get off of it, but just sort of come to some kind of fulfillment from that whole journey and from that whole experience. Okay, so let's get the cards out and see what else comes up here. So Spirit, what else would you like to talk about for this message for whoever it's for? They're showing me a compass that's spinning and then I just saw it kind of land on like one particular spot, you know, or one particular direction. Um, or maybe like a wheel, like the Wheel of Fortune and, and you spin it and it just like lands on one spot. So yeah, there could be something that's like landing, you know, if that makes sense. Something that I feel is coming into this juicy sort of ripeness um, and maybe is 
giving you some sort of direction or perspective or purpose and this could be in various ways you know for some of you this could be literal um, with the compass reference maybe you have been trying to decide which direction in life you would like to go or which you know where you want to move to and there's maybe something that you finalize that and you're able to bring that into like focus fully i'm also being shown the justice card in tarot so for some of you this could have to do um with some kind of some kind of justice and i don't know if it's because something is finalizing in your life that could be for a few of you watching this that maybe it's something that you know you've been waiting for a case to finalize or you've been waiting for this moment sort of where everything can align more fully or you could have that um, direction that you've been looking for but let's see we have the sun again and the knight of pentacles yeah and i'm getting this strong feeling of like a calm a calmness so if you have not felt this yet this could be in the next few months or so i always say in these readings a lot of times they can manifest like two months in, in um two months later if they don't connect right now and as i'm saying that they're showing me a caterpillar actually as well so this could be kind of like a caterpillar phase or you are about to blossom from the caterpillar to the butterfly and with this knight of pentacles here there's a feeling of that compass reference because in a way the knight of pentacles does talk about like a solid direction even though it takes a lot of slow and steady movement so in some kind of way i feel like you're about to finalize or land some security or um, focus of direction in your life which feels like it brings everything more together with the sun and i am getting that feeling again of like an internal shift so for some of you who align with this reading this actually could be starting mainly as an internal shift um, or i should say almost like an internal revelation or something where you find whatever that compass is for you personally maybe it's something that you've been working on maybe it's the direction again of your life and you wanting to almost like pinpoint that down or get to the place of personal empowerment for that to happen and that's what i feel is coming into fruition for a lot of you um six of pentacles and the four of cups is here as well i don't know why i'm hearing don't push it down anymore so i'm not sure if they mean for some of you this could be some sort of blocked emotion something that maybe you've been suppressing and they're drawing attention to that tree in the background so it might have something to do with like either a long-term goal for you or some personal emotional issue which maybe you've been pushing down and it's like spirit saying don't push it down anymore or some intuitive call that you have um there's something about that don't push it down let's see what else spirit would you like to say here for this message for whoever this is for yeah they keep showing me references i'm seeing a chess game that has completed it's like there's a lot of this reference of something is completed something is completing we have the five of pentacles we have the four of pentacles i guess this wants to come out in reverse and the magician in reverse I'm actually going to grab some of these to go with this. What else, Spirit, would you like to say for this message, please? For some of you, you may have outgrown a certain path. Yeah, there's the coffin. Okay, because they just showed me that this is part of the reason that these cards are coming up like this. Because the sun is representing that illumination aspect maybe it's something again personal for you about that that compass reference like maybe you were pointing in the other direction on the compass and you had stayed kind of in that direction but something has come to either an abrupt end or this cycle in your life with the coffin is completely ending um Yeah, don't push it down. They're saying again, yeah, see here's the key and we have the owl. So yeah, take this how this will fit for you, but don't push something down that is clearly being given to you right now. Some kind of key information, some sort of um, insight, um, something that I feel for a lot of you, I'm getting it could be either it, like an internal thing 
or it could also be paired with something outside of yourself like maybe for example it's some sort of offer or whatever it could be it could be totally different for everybody maybe you're having some kind of tool right now in your physical world that's helping you to unlock see there's that key uh, hole in the back so and there's the key here too see with this five of pentacles like this is you having to kind of get up and get that key so you can unlock that door and the key is actually here the key is is being presented to you if you pay close attention to where that key is and how can you find that key and use that key because for most of you who are watching this and aligning with this you what you really need to know right now is that you are no longer kind of a victim or you are no longer trapped the way that you may see yourself to be trapped um, and I think for some of you this could actually be in reference to some specific arena or area of your life or situation that you have stayed in for too long um, maybe there's almost a sense of you having to pick the pieces up and see beyond the facade see beyond anything that with the secrets lifted here insights very much like the sun like there's something trying to push you forward and trying to get your attention that here is the solution or here is what you're not seeing that maybe you've been pushing down or here is the way that you can exit yourself out of this cycle um, and I really feel like it does for a lot of you include a, a painful ending maybe or something where you do have to kind of pivot into a new direction um, at this point and this would be confirmation for you that this new direction is is actually like something that you don't really have much of a choice in it feels like because it seems like this fulfillment is found elsewhere than where you currently are not that you have to make like a complete life change if that's not your story but it's just in essence it's something about maybe shifting your perspective from where it was onto something onto like a different light to see that situation um, yeah they're actually showing me that card the five of pentacles if that were to be a literal situation or not literal but like in the way they're showing it coming to life here um, of trying to almost like bang on a door that is already closed or locked that you are trying to knock on a door so that something can be opened but it's actually because maybe that door is totally shut now you're the one that has the key let's see a little bit more spirit what else would you like to say yeah the light bulb moment so this seems to be a pretty clear message for somebody that there's like a there's a revelation there's a, an epiphany happening here there's a breakthrough and I keep being also shown a long-term plan. So for a lot of you, this is something which is going to affect the long-term uh, goals of your life with the Knight of Pentacles. And so we'll get some specifics like we usually do to see what exactly this is. For some of you, it could also involve a divine union. Um, it could be parts of this could also be vice versa if that does fit with you in your situation. But um, either way, it has a lot to do with like this light bulb moment is actually again pivoting you into a that compass that different direction sort of even if you're not physically moving directions for all of you it's more so um hmm Yeah, it's a leap of faith. I don't know why I'm getting something about a choir. Um, just I just heard like this big choir singing. So this could be something about maybe the angels for some of you. If you or maybe you sing in a choir or that means something specific for you. But it feels like there's a whole choir like um, um, some kind of calling almost with the sun or yeah it's like 
it's almost like judgment i'm surprised judgment card didn't come up here because it feels like that like maybe you just i don't know what they mean by that but somehow you hear the choir singing you know and it, and it kind of it, it it puts you into a light bulb moment or puts somebody in this light bulb moment with the sun of like that is truth or that is my calling or that is who I really am at my soul or that is the direction for me there's something like that coming up however that's going to fit with you um, yeah it could be a very spiritual experience like I said with the crown chakra somebody here and if it doesn't sound like you it's possible that it could be someone around you or even you and other people that you are connected to um, could be having a very profound you know connection with spirit right now that is deepening and maybe it's something that feels like that like the choir yeah look at that the crown and the third eye like the choir of angels the the, the serenade of i don't know something which is a very spiritual thing that is can only be experienced and not explained um and i don't know exactly what again the the details of this are but it seems like with the magician here in reverse and the and the owl this actually might be that somebody at some point was not in that angelic choir energy, so to speak. Like maybe you or someone else were kind of in a lower position. Maybe even there were some dark forces around their life or around certain situations. And I feel like that's the reference of the light bulb and the sun and the crown chakra is that there's a, there's a push and a calling for a higher purpose and a higher calling and a higher connection with the light so that's what's coming up maybe somebody feels called to again with the coffin like make a big life change which will be more in alignment with spirit um, or go towards the path of further enlightenment which requires this owl perspective of seeing beyond the facade of things that somehow or another like manipulated the truth I just don't know how that is but it could just be as simple as realizing that you were in the wrong situation for a while or realizing that maybe you invested so much time or, or energy into something that wasn't truly I don't know, of the light or it wasn't truly where you should have been. Yeah, see that card just wanted to fly out. And again, fulfillment of wishes. And it's very similar to like this card here. I just saw a big yes written over here. Yes. So yeah, let's let's get some more and see what exactly this is because it feels like someone needs to hear this is like a yes. Yes, this is the path or yes, this is the the right way. Maybe you've done something recently that you need that confirmation. Um or yes, this is the right choice to make for somebody. Tell us a little bit more spirit. How what else would you like to say here for this message? Yeah, there's a ton of things coming up here for some of you i will say i feel like there is something about a possible union in love coming up and i believe this may have come up in the last reading i did too and for some this might be more of like a long-term thing it might be something which will manifest a bit later down the road but the path that you're taking will kind of lead you there or the pivot in direction or the epiphany it could also be someone is coming to terms with this themselves as well connected to you because I'm just being shown someone kind of preparing for like an incoming offer. Um, and they showed me a specific scenario of a man wearing like a suit and kind of like um, tightening the tie and getting ready for some sort of proposal or offer. Um, let's see, we have stand your ground, we have the solar plexus, and we also have the hanged man sacrifice. Let me get one more. What else, Spirit, would you like to say here for this message? Yeah, I'm hearing ready or not, here I come. Okay. 
patience, temperance. The heart chakra, the five of swords, and here's light again, hope. So it's pretty much the similar, it's almost the exact same orb of light here. Okay. Yeah, it's a similar information is coming up here. It's the same thing to where I feel like someone's had a shift in something here with the heart chakra and this conflict and defeat is, is almost a sense of um, going from whatever the lower point was into the shift of the higher light and hope. So... With the hanged man being here, it feels like a lot of this was catalyzed though by, again, what seems to be, I can't really understand or pinpoint what the cause was or how this happened um, or who this is about. But what I'm just getting is that there's been a shift again in beliefs or perspective of seeing the light again, seeing the hope again, and this five of swords and the five of pentacles represented represented the lower path that one felt trapped in at some point and was i saying in the beginning of this reading something about the fire being sparked i think that's what came up in the beginning so that makes a lot of sense now i forgot about that with this with the light here so it's like somehow someone's hope has been renewed. There's a feeling of, they're showing me something coming in, like a puzzle piece coming in over here to match whatever is right here and fit perfectly to that thing. Almost like that key. Like if it is talking about you here, something has come in to fit your mold and give you that hope and light again some solution some understanding some epiphany so this is a process maybe that you've been having to go through within yourself with the hanged man and the temperance card and Let's get some specific cards to see exactly what this is. It's a bit of an interesting reading here. Um, let me grab some of these cards and we'll see what else they want to say. Actually, I am going to grab, oh yeah, these cards want to come out. Okay. Let's get one of these. And thank you so much, Christine, for sending me this um, Rose Oracle by Rebecca Campbell. I love this deck. And uh, thank you so much from my wish list on Amazon. But as I just kind of shuffled those, we have After the Rain, Silver Lining, Relief, Hope, Mercy, It's Over, and Acceptance. Yeah, wow. So, I mean, this feels, I don't, I don't know, just it's, I, I guess it's going to be different for everybody. What exactly happened for you to get to this point? It could be so many things. It could be hearing something. It could be um, a, like a significant download that you receive through meditation. It could be help from another person that has come in. It could be just whatever it it is that has allowed you to feel hope again in your life or hope and acceptance that some difficult pattern or, or situation can be put to rest whatever this conflict is the way this man is like falling down the stairs there's a sense of like you don't have to do this anymore you don't have to feel this way anymore so yeah and if this has not happened again yet as i was saying earlier it could be something which is in the process right now of manifesting in that way 
So in a couple months time, you may find that something is given to you, some of that, whatever that key is that kind of fits your mold, whatever that situation, person, offer, download, um, just spiritual experience that we can all have in different ways, whatever that is, is about to come in if it has not yet. And it's going to feel like that. It's going to feel kind of like after the rain, there's a sense of silence after the rain. There's a feeling of, you know, all of the plants are rejuvenated. There's um, a feeling of the storm has passed kind of already. And I'm hearing the word glowing. So it's like something is going to be glowing, like this orb of light glowing for you to catch it, for you to go um, pick it up and, and take that orb of light forward and take it with you kind of into the future. And I was seeing actually the Wheel of Fortune quite a bit when I was shuffling this other deck. So for some of you, this could be something too that is just like astrologically happening or it could be a point in time in the collective where um, it's like there's a huge heaviness that's being taken off even if you don't quite feel like you're there yet uh there's like a heavy weight in the collective and maybe in this certain timeline that you're aligning to this reading where it's going to feel that way like you can touch the light again you can feel the light again um okay we have mother rose returning to each other compassion and humanity Yeah, and there's a feeling of, that's the feeling I was getting in the beginning. I don't know if I mentioned it, but there's like a softness. There's a there's a, a beautiful like heart-centered soft feeling coming up here. So for some of you, this is going to be that you are ready to maybe connect with people. Or there's just a feeling again collectively of softening back into love, into compassion, into um, the star being here. Like this is hope for not just you, but like for everyone like in the collective that's how this feels like so it's just it's a warm sensation it's a warm feeling of connectedness and whatever this opposing energy was or is with the five of swords here the magician in reverse it hasn't always been this way there's been some kind of conflict which is represented by this coffin here whatever that was that maybe had blocked somebody from feeling the light it could be through so many things. It could be like an addiction had kind of numbed somebody and made them feel disconnected from source, disconnected from love. It could be that you were involved in some situation, which, you know, maybe karmically, I think that came up in the previous reading I did too the other week, that maybe there's been this kind of pivot from a karmic path onto a path of more of your soul's direction. And so that could be the end, the, the death card here, the coffin could be in some way there is, has been an ending or will be an ending, which had to happen for this hope to be restored. Um, because maybe you chose to disconnect or you chose the path of light. And this is like because of that decision that you've made or that you're going to make, um, it is going to really bring a lot of hope and, and compassion and love back into your life. And so, yeah, it feels very beautiful. And with the Hanged Man and the Temperance card and the Star card all coming up here and the Sun card, um, that's, that's where I feel like this is a significant um, milestone kind of in somebody's spiritual journey, this reading and this confirmation. Let's get one more of these and then I'll get some of the specific detailed cards. We have morning dew, yeah, clarity, a fresh start, and a positive outlook. Yeah, this feels really nice, this reading. We also have the bud, potential, promise, it's about to happen, keep going. Yeah, and that's that spark reference with the king of pentacles, the sun. Um, so it's going to be different. Again, for some of you, it's going to be this, like, if you keep going, if you have this promise or this hope within yourself, it's about to happen. That business or that love offer or that union, um, it's about to happen. There's a new perspective. There's a fresh start clearly here. And I think that, yeah, there's show me somebody that has like raked, has taken a rake and has like raked all of the 
the leaves off of something to reveal what's been under the surface the whole time. So this for me is give me a sense of some kind of big clearing that's happened or is happening, which again, I think for most of you, it's something that has been done through an ending of something else or just the realization that you have outgrown something, that you're ready to put that certain path kind of away. Um, or your higher self is already knows that and is already preparing you for this morning dew. Um, I'm hearing, I choose me. So yeah, some of you could be saying that to yourself, like, I choose me. And that is very much what that feels like too. Like it's a sense of you chose you. And even because some, some of you may not even know that, I mean, you may know that you're doing this, but at some point you may not know exactly how significant this is. Like maybe you're just doing small things or seemingly small things to, to allow yourself to grow from these experiences. But actually that is a very like monumental thing right now and um i'm also being shown the goddess isis and there's something about jewelry coming up so if you feel drawn to buy some jewelry somewhere or like specific jewelry that you feel called to wear there's something about that and it kind of represents self-love in this way like adorning yourself with jewels and jewelry and allowing yourself to accept kind of accept this light being offered and before I get the specific cards I do want to also say too for some of you this actually could be for those of you who are um, maybe you work with spirit for some of you, you actually may have felt some psychic, at psychic attacks here with the magician in reverse. And this actually could be, cause I was kind of getting that like a battle almost between the dark and the light. Um, and with this stand your ground, if that is for you, what they kind of want you to know is that that part of like the, the most difficult chapter maybe of your spiritual, you know, warfare or something that's been going on that has tried to prevent you from the light or tried to prevent you from your true purpose or has seeked to diminish you. It's like whatever those, whatever those energies are, whether this is coming from people around you or your environment, or it's something of like, you know, just a spiritual attack or entities. It feels like you need to know that like that, if you stand your ground, that part is going to be over. There's some kind of rescue from that or like a feeling that if you keep pushing through and if you keep believing kind of in yourself and believing in following this path of the light, you are going to get there and you are safe and protected. So there's something that someone needs to hear about that as well, um, that it may have taken a long time for you to get to this point, or it may have been like a very frustrating cycle where you felt always that you were defeated, like this conflict and defeat. And it may have been around like the solar plexus or the heart chakra. So it may have felt that you were not making progress or like this victim mentality or lack mindset or subconscious programming with the five of pentacles. And it may have been that there were a lot of like forces in a way seeking to keep you down keeping to or trying to keep your light from from coming out and that's where i feel like that most difficult part of that has come to an end or is about to come to an end um yeah so yeah if the if anything keep the hope alive right now definitely keep your hope about the dreams that you may have about the um, light that you wish to shine kind of in the world or, or things that you um, have felt maybe a bit defeated by that are not happening or that you felt that this kind of lingering cycle never would, would end or something that has kept you from your true fulfillment. Don't give up on it because it's about to happen here. There's, there's a feeling of that if you keep on this track. Well, let's get the specific card and see what else. 
Okay, so I just went to go grab these and when I went to go grab them, they showed me a vision of somebody like looking in the mirror um, and I heard you're coming face to face with yourself, but they showed it in a way of like the light again, like you're coming face to face with your own light, your own strength, your own power and your own gifts. So this of course could be something literal that maybe you're doing some kind of mirror work or you are you know, doing affirmations or really getting to know yourself on a deeper level. But I feel like this is more on a soul level. Like it's like your light is beginning to start to, you know, come out and maybe it was hidden behind the, 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 the kind of leaves in a way or the darkness. And it's like spirits wanting you to say you're coming face to face with your own power and your own light. Um, and maybe that's something that you've already done or you're going to in the next few months or so and it's going to feel very powerful for you and it's going to feel like you can kind of reclaim the light that you've lost and there's so many things coming up with this i mean it could be that someone has taken your light definitely with that magician reverse there's something weird going on with that card so it could be that maybe again you were involved in like a, a relationship or a cycle which someone was was kind of like taking your light if it, it, it felt like you could never it's it's you just felt like you could never kind of uh truly be the light that you are or and and it could have been people took that from you or or a situation that you had to maybe be in for a while in order to learn the lessons has kind of closed up and is sealing up for your light to come back um so yeah i would say if you align with this you definitely are feeling this to some level even if you don't feel it fully yet Maybe you're just beginning to feel more like you can feel that light within you or you can see your beauty more um, or you feel called to do things that bring you more light. Um, and there's something about sharing I'm hearing with this as well. Maybe some of you feel called to share with other people or like connect with people. But let's see, Spirit, what else would you like to say? What specific details do we have here for this reading? I just saw 222. This year will provide big changes for you. You will undergo a transformative period through all, out, all aspects of your life. Within this year, helpful people will be sent into your life to help support you through these changes. So yeah, I was just talking about that. So it feels kind of like a, a feeling to where you may also encounter a lot of like earth angels um, or soul, soul family, people who really resonate with you. And it's like there's something about the light that you both have or like that you can come together in that very powerful light sort of way is what keeps coming up. So be aware of like the people who you feel a connection to, people who you feel good around their company, um, people who may want to reach out to you and, and want to have some um, interaction with you or form a relationship with you or it could be business or friends because there's something that I feel they're being sent to you to help you with something and you could be doing the same for those people as well we have true colors of someone you are close to will soon be exposed this may leave you feeling deceived but having this revelation will prove to be useful in the long run so there's that word revelation so yeah i do think that that weird magician energy over there for some of you could be that there is someone who will be exposed for who they really are and i was kind of seeing that with the sun and something else that had come up earlier so if that does happen with the death card and the coffin um yes it can be in the moment it can be hard to accept that or difficult to hear that truth but i really think that this seems to be something that is going to really allow you to grow elsewhere and to again reclaim your light um, because there could be someone who in the background of your life has almost been like taking from you sucking the light out of you whether you're in contact with them or not a time of expansion and strengthening of your spiritual abilities is near yeah so yeah it feels actually very like overwhelming in a way so some of you that could be how you feel when this happens um and it could be gradual or it could be more like of a sudden onset 
I think spirit will do it, you know, like gradually and, and assist you to ease into it. But whenever you do, some of you could also be a healer or you will be, become a healer. Something with the light here, like working with your hands, working with light. Um, but any kind of spiritual gift and abilities, it's like they're going to come back if you lost them or they're just going to strengthen so much because you... I don't know, it's really powerful. It's like that feeling of the looking in the mirror again and coming face to face with yourself. Like maybe some of you are going to just really start to see how, yeah, like like how many gifts you have or like how powerful and sacred your energy is. And it's going to be a very like maybe emotional experience where you realize how much you had given that up or, or not believed in yourself fully. So prepare for this like influx of spiritual experiences. You will soon inherit a great fortune that will add to your financial means. So that's that King of Pentacles. And I believe the Ten of Pentacles was there too. So yeah, I would say that for a lot of you, there could be, I'm not sure exactly how you're going to be inheriting this, but in some way you could be really like something is going to take off suddenly or something you will inherit something. If it's not like an inheritance as in like a an actual mon monetary inheritance, it could be something that has been passed down to you, like some sort of, again, gift or um, like spiritual fortune, if that makes sense, that's being handed down to you or that you're receiving, that you're inheriting. Um, yeah, there's something like that. So yeah, it feels it feels super powerful. A profound time of healing approaches. It may feel challenging, but you will come out stronger than before. You may find yourself overwhelmed with juggling prop, uh, I said properties, <laughs> priorities and dealing with many demands and responsibilities at this time. Yeah, like I said, it almost feels like it could be a bit overwhelming for some of you. Get one more. I keep getting a J name here for somebody. And take this part how this will resonate, but I'm hearing coming out of the closet. So I'm not sure what that's going to mean for everyone. Um, it could be something even just about like your spiritual gifts, but there's something to where maybe you are like in a way you are ready to come to these truths and, and like accept these truths and, and maybe like reveal who you really are in some sense. We have, you may, may feel uncertain about an upcoming situation, but if you take a leap of faith, great reward will come of it. So yeah, we did have that grasshopper. So for some of you, um, if you have an opportunity coming in, I feel like spirit with that yes energy I was seeing, yes, they want you to take it and you'll know when it's right for you because it's going to feel very exciting, it's going to feel very good and it's going to feel like even in your solar plexus like some kind of like expansion that there's a possibility for you to expand with this opportunity it's going to feel like you your soul wants to gravitate towards that. Remember with like the compass reference, there's a sense of like that compass is going to land on a certain spot and so yeah, I mean, for some of you watching this, this is going to be something which could end up being a very great fortune for you, you know, so maybe it's some specific opportunity that you feel a bit insecure or wary about, but at the same time you feel excited about it. Um, it actually could be that that is the path that you've been waiting for, that puzzle that's trying to come in and fit your mold could be that. And it's so funny because I had my nails yellow and I never do that and I just felt drawn to it for some reason. Um, and it seems like it always ends up aligning to what comes up later in my readings with like the yellow light here and there and the solar plexus. So yeah, there could be a lot of like yellow energy and it's funny too because I think a month or two ago 
in the collective it was a lot of sacral chakra and i think i even had my nails painted orange at that time so maybe we're like moving on up with the chakras here wow we have your prayers and wishes have been heard what you've been manifesting will soon be delivered yeah it's like i got chills reading that it feels like this is a really beautiful message that um there are a lot of prayers being delivered for you if you feel that you align with this i am going to do an extended just because i feel like this i just want to see like exactly what these wishes are um so we're just going to pull from some different decks and see um what more spirit would want to add to this reading if you are interested and i will pull some charms also in the extended and i might actually pull from the bowl because i know this is kind of maybe it's a more specific reading for some of you so i will post the extended over on my patreon if you would like to join the membership but if you want to just purchase like one individual extended i also have that option on gum road down below if you want to just get this extended reading but yeah i think let's get one final card to close this up as some advice and then we'll leave it there but yeah if this is for you and i'm seeing 11 11 on the timer if this is for you this feels like a beautiful thing to kind of celebrate and feel happy about what's about to be incoming what is one final message here for the viewer yeah they keep showing me now they're showing me somebody like someone pushing you on stage so and i heard that like come out of the closet so i don't know what that's going to mean but somehow you're being called to maybe step up and really be yourself or you're being called to um really you know be confident in whatever you're doing that could be a little literal for some of you too where maybe you have some kind of event coming up to where it is going to be a bit uncomfortable maybe it's that you're making a speech somewhere or you have an opportunity to promote your product somewhere or you whatever it is it's like spirit the angels are trying to push you onto that stage and say like just do it because you are going to be thriving it's your time to thrive yeah you're going on, on a voyage so the advice here or the final message we have solitude so what they're actually saying with this is that when this sun's energy comes up or the hope the light it is going to feel very positive and beautiful but it can be a bit overwhelming so i feel like right now is almost a time to where you're putting the final pieces again together within yourself so they're pointing to the need to spend enough time right now it doesn't have to be like being in hermit mode but even just taking a few you know a while per day or per week to finalize almost whatever those parts are that you're almost like sewing up or that you're sealing up um, that you're ending or that you are cutting cords with there's a sense of that like completing projects before the full light kind of comes in because it's going to change your life a lot and take you so much further but they want you to be prepared for this incoming light um, which you can do by setting aside enough time for yourself for reflection and meditation and something keeps coming up about like prioritizing and getting clear you know maybe getting rid of clutter um emotionally physically to really put to rest that path that you're ending so that you can more fully step into that compass path that's illuminating yeah so i will leave it here um i really hope this reading could find whoever it's meant for if you did enjoy it please give it a thumbs up comment down below and let me know how this connects with you and yeah i will do an extended and we're just going to be pulling some cards from different decks and seeing what more spirit would like to say here for you and we will pull some charms and then i will pull a few from my bowl which is a bowl of names and cities, countries, life path numbers that can give some of you extra confirmation. So I will put the link to the extended on Gumroad for the individual sale or the individual um, uh, reading. I don't know, I can't think of the word. Or I will put the link over to my Patreon 
where you can access that as well. So I will talk to you all next time. Take care and lots of love.